Yeah, good day viewers. Welcome to Ezaiola Online English. In this tutorial, we shall be talking about something very, very important. Of course, certain topics in English language might always appear very simple, but then there are things you need to iron out, figure them out because of the necessity of knowing those things in details. So we are giving a kind of detailed explanation to the meanings of proper and common noun. Proper noun, students normally, it shouldn't be a strange topic, even the common nouns. To learners of English language all over, when we hear proper noun and common nouns, we need to understand that it is something that everybody has to know about. But then there is a unique kind of difference between the two. And this is something we have to figure out in this tutorial. Now, when we say proper noun, what do we mean proper noun? How do we look at it? How do we look at proper noun? How do we define it? What is a proper noun originally? Now, listen, proper nouns are those names given to particular things, particular persons, particular places. Proper noun, like I said, they are names given to particular, particular persons, particular places, and particular things. When we say particular names, they are those names that make somebody unique. Like in a situation where we have children, one, two, three, four, and we have one of them to be given the name Obi. Obi, for instance, Obi is the particular child that is existing among probably four or five children, all of them may not be having this name. The possibility for two or three or even maybe more to have this name could be seen as a coincidence. But originally, when we see two, three, four, five person, one bearing the name Obi, the name Obi makes him what? A particular individual among those existing children. So that's why it is a proper noun. From our definition, we said it is the name given to a particular person, particular place, particular thing. Take, for instance, when we talk about Lagos, Lagos State is in Nigeria. Now, Lagos is the name given to a particular state. Of course, in Nigeria, we have up to 36 different states. So Lagos is just one of them. And the name Lagos State is the name given to a particular state existing in all the entirety or nation, Nigeria. Among the states, we have Lagos as one. So that name makes the state a particular place. All right. Now, I said proper noun is the name given to a particular person, particular place, and particular thing. But then there is something also we need to understand about the proper nouns. Wherever they appear in sentences, they must be written in capital letters. That is why they are proper noun. Example, when we mention God, look at this. The name God, this is a proper noun. Why? Because it is the name given to a particular divinity. People believe in God. And when we talk about God, we are actually talking about the God of heaven. Faith-wise, people believe there is a God existing in heaven. And that God is the almighty God. So for respect's sake, you want to mention the name, you refer to him as God. You don't write him like this. You don't write the name like this. We have this as a God too. This is the small letter God, and this is referring to demigod, demigod, or maybe deity, oracles, idols, and all that. But when we talk about this God, wherever we see it, it is the name given to the God Almighty, the creator of the heavens and the earth, according to belief of some people. All right, that is, by the way, the point here is this. Um, proper noun and names given to particular. God is a particular divinity, like I said. And the fact also is that wherever it is to appear in a sentence, in an entire expression, whether at the beginning or middle or even end of the expression, it must be written in capital letter. Another example is places like Nigeria is a place, of course. 
We have America is also a country. We have Europe is a continent, and so on and so forth. All those th names are proper nouns. And you can see they are all written beginning with capital letters. And this way we have written them, that is equally the way they must have to appear in any of their positions in sentences. So proper noun is known for this, capital letters and also names given to particular persons, places, and things. What about the common noun? We now talk about the common noun, as the name implies. Common noun, as the name implies, like I said, it's common. They are the general names. Look at this, general, general names. They are seen as general names given to the same persons, places, things, or even animals, whatever. But the point is that this is a general name, unlike what we have in the proper noun. Proper nouns are specific, definite, particular names, while these are general names. If I say Obi, Obi here is a name, is a native name, of course. This is a particular name. It is not general. But if, of course, Obi is a boy, look at this. This is a boy. Boy is also a name given to somebody. You call somebody boy, but the point is that this is a general name. You cannot call this a particular name. That's why it is common. Any boy can be boy. Any boy can be addressed as a boy, but any boy cannot be addressed as Obi only when you meet Obi in question. A boy that bears the name Obi, that's when you address the child as Obi. But for boy, hence the boy is a boy, you address him as a boy. That's why it is general. Girl is part of it. Any girl can be girl. General name. Now, for words like house, we have word places like city here. We have country. Any country is country. Any city is city. Any state is state. So when we say state, all these things are common nouns because we are not making reference to particular states, neither are we making reference to particular city, nor particular country, nor particular house, nor particular girl, nor particular boy. That's why they are general names. The boy can be used to address any boy at all. The same with the girl. Any house can be addressed with house in as much as you are not mentioning a particular house with a particular name, city, state, and country. Now, what do we have to know here? In common nouns, they only appear in capital letters when they begin sentences, unlike what we have in the proper nouns. Of course, proper nouns, wherever they are, they must appear in sentences, irrespective of their positions, beginning, middle, or even end. But here, according to the rule of writing, normally, when you want to write, you begin your sentences or expressions in capital letter. So for common nouns, they only begin expression, we begin them with capital letter when they begin expression or sentences. Apart from that, every other position they appear in sentences, you write them normally the way the rule of writing teaches us. Thank you very much. If you've really enjoyed what you've watched, consider subscribing to my channel on Ezaiola in online English. Thank you, thank you, thank you.